I was watching a show called Spartacus on Netflix. If you're down with the blood and gore and the boobies, it's a really good show. Um, I'm not sure many girls would like those. Very man-oriented. But anyway, I was watching the show Spartacus, dealing with my shit, watching the show, zoning out. And the main character is struggling. He's in an internal battle with his past, this life he once had, and the reality of his, of his current situation. And he's torn between the two, constantly struggling to get back to the life he once had, which I can relate to. I really can in terms of depression, anxiety, life before everything just got shitty. I can relate to that. And so I found myself sort of connecting and thinking about that. I was like, oh, there you go. You know, a little, little moment for me, a little hidden message. And, um, and then someone, some character, Bartiatis, I think, whatever, he tells Spartacus, he goes, accept your fate. Or be destroyed by it. And when I heard that, I just got like rocketed into the fourth dimension of, of, of peace of mind and clarity just for a minute. I was like, whoa, that was, that was fucking deep. Accept your fate or be destroyed by it. And I had to pause the show. I had to take a minute. I, it, penetrated some layer of the onion that I'm struggling to peel. And I was just very, what's the word? I was sort of stuck in pause, stuck in awe, just stuck in thought after I heard that. And I couldn't just get back in the zone of watching people just get butchered to death on this ridiculously violent show. Suddenly I'm just thinking about acceptance and how everything in my life that I struggle with it usually revolves around the fact that I have I can't accept it. And most things that I can't accept are beyond my control. And I have learned slowly, very slowly, but I have learned that if you cannot accept something that is beyond your control, you can never be happy. Um, you know, and I don't know if you buy into fate, into destiny, but destiny, life, whatever... It has led to certain events happening in my life that continue to affect me. And, in, and they continue to, to cause me to look back into an old life. An old life that I romanticize. I know I do. Before it all went bad. Of course, referring to depression, anxiety, depersonalization, alcoholism, suicidality, stuff like that. The stuff that haunts you. The stuff that keeps me up at night. Most recently, my anxiety spiked in a weird way that led to my chest just being... Completely knotted up. Completely knotted up. And it's been like that for three and a half, four weeks now. Tight, tight pressure. I know that's a symptom of anxiety. And it's one of the oldest symptoms for me. It really upsets me. And so I just find myself so bitter with the reality of my life right now. And don't get me wrong. I have lots to be grateful for. And it's not a self-loathing, self-pity thing. It's just, it's just this unwillingness to accept I don't have to like it. I don't have to agree with it. But if I want any peace of mind going forward, I have to accept it. I have to accept that I did get severely depressed and, and have a huge mental breakdown. I, I, I did end up getting hospitalized. I did wind up in rehab. I was severely anxious and depressed and depersonalized for a couple years of being suicidal. I will never, ever go back to my old life. Things can never be the same. And I struggle to accept that because even though I know better, even though that intuitively I know better, things can be different. And I'm not saying life can't be worth it, but it can't be the same. And so I lay awake at night thinking about my anxiety, thinking about what's happened to me, decisions I've made that I regret that led to it, things that were truly out of my control that I, I never could have seen coming, whatever, and I just, I just resent it, and I just feel hopeless about it, and I just obsess, and I go back to when I was a kid, and when I was happy, and I was carefree, and what I find myself doing is, is overshooting many of the years that build up to my, my big breakdown. I'm going way back, and I'm not accepting anything for what it is. And when I don't accept things, I don't take appropriate action to change them. I just sort of sit there angry. 
and I make things worse and I hurt more and I'm frozen. I'm completely frozen by this uh, fear and this unacceptance. And for whatever fucking reason, Spartacus has the show, has me wanting to work harder than ever to accept what is now. I may never go back. I will never go back to the life before I had the big breakdown. I'm in early sobriety. I'm in early life outside of depression and anxiety. I still have spikes and, and peaks and valleys. And I have to find peace with my new life. And I have to stay in the moment. And I have to accept my fate or I'm going to be destroyed by it. Because when I obsess and when I fight it, I still take myself to suicidal places. Because it's so sad. It really is. And, and I have to be acknowledging of my own feelings. But what has happened is sad. Other people have gone through very sad things. This is not a, a measuring stick. I'm not measuring or comparing to anyone else's. I'm dealing with what's in front of me. And I, I, of course, try to be mindful of the things I'm lucky for. And I am. But my life has changed forever. And many of you understand that. It's happened to you too. You guys reach out. We communicate. It's changed forever. And it's going to be different now. And we're dealing with things that had this gone a certain way or that gone a certain way or this not happened or that had happened, we wouldn't be dealing with. But we took it for granted or we didn't, but it happened. And now we're here. And I desperately want to accept my fate so that I cannot be destroyed by it. If I can accept it, I can put uh, proper action, proper effort towards not fixing it, not fixing what's going on, but making peace with it and developing a new sense of self from there. It sounds hokey, but it's been on my mind like crazy. So now when I feel my chest getting tight, I literally say to myself under my breath, so thank you fucking Spartacus, I literally just say, accept your fate. Accept your fate. It's okay. It's okay. Accept it. Don't fight it. Don't struggle. Just accept it. And accept doesn't mean being okay with it. Just just accept it because it is. And then what can you do to get yourself to a better, happier, more stable place? I, I have no say in how long that'll take. I don't know what more I'll have to endure, but I can accept that this is what it is. It did happen to me. What happened to me happened to me. I cannot go back and I have to stop living in that past that I can't get back to. All I have is what's right now. And then of course what's in front of me. And it's going to take a lot of hard work and it's going to take a lot of effort. But I believe that acceptance is still possible. Because I have it in moments, but they're fleeting. And I don't want to end up a tragedy. I've said that before on this channel. I don't want to end up a tragedy, but I just get lost in my own suffering. I really do. And I, I have to communicate with others. I have to listen to other people's experiences. I have to try to be of service to others. And I have to try to continue to work on staying in the present, staying in acceptance mode, and not giving up five minutes before the miracle. I don't know what is to come. But I know what was and what will not be anymore, you know? If you got anything out of that, it was really on my mind. I've just been thinking about that because it was just so prophetic and, and powerful. And I can't believe that it impacted me like it did, but it has. And maybe that'll have some effect on you. If you're struggling with something, a person, a place, a thing, an event, and you find yourself miserable and obsessing over it, you probably haven't accepted it. And if you can't change it, and you know that, then that's all there's left to do is, is find peace in your heart and accept it, even if it's something terrible. Even if it's something painful and terrible. There's something powerful about the acceptance of it all. Okay, a 10-minute video. Good for me. I did it again. Oops, I did it again. I babbled away. And now I'm singing Britney Spears in my car. Okay, I'm not driving, by the way. I shouldn't point at you. I got that many pointing at me. I'm not driving, by the way. I'm just parked here, but I'm about to go into work. I really appreciate you guys letting me share. It means so much to me. Um, I will continue to work on my acceptance of the tightness of my chest, of what has happened to me, because uh, otherwise I just, I'm just consumed by it. I can't let it go. I can't let go what happened to me. And I need to. And, and we'll end it on that, that note. We'll see you guys in the next video. Be brave in whatever you face, uh, whatever you're going through, we can get through it. One day, one hour, one minute at a time. We'll see you guys in the next video. Leave me comments below if you feel so inclined. Tell me uh, something you have you struggle to accept. Um, and that you're working on accepting and why it's important that you do and how it affects you when you don't. All right, guys. Take care.